today we're trying to solve the hospital challenge so we have our ip the first thing we want to do is first open up terminal and then we have the ip which i copied and then we have PHTB. great so if we're paying HTTP, we should get something perfect we go into the hospital folder and then we just say um, we do all ports we go full power on it are very aggressive and then we just want to see the open ones and it's called hospital.htb right so let's go and now we wait and once this scan is done you know what there's gonna be a second scan all right oh what the fuck there's so much stuff open god damn it so how do we find out what we want to scan though we find out the open ports and then we have our ports that we're now just gonna even run some scripts against it version everything and we call this a full scan and it's also on hospital.htv now that our second scan is running we can actually go and check the website hospital.htv i mean it doesn't have an http port so maybe let's just do an https of course we accept the risk and continue can you tell us the version round cube i feel like we can exploit this round cube instance because why else i mean it's meta gaming at this point but why else would they have it i mean it could be a honeypot maybe we can try the old fashioned it is an easy challenge after all so maybe the login failed i'm trying to see if i can find out which version of whatever this thing is running skins elastic wait elastic the elastic stack i feel like that's just the name of the skin right i mean it says that it's round cube here let's search for round cube it thinks that i'm a bot because i'm guessing this stuff is running on a cloudflare instance or so does cloudflare offer like host yo google i don't want to train your ai come on fucking hell what the all right let's go check here what the default credentials are and then maybe we can hack into it nope 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 is it demo at blah 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 i mean it couldn't be that easy right demo at hospital.htv nope of course not all right we'll keep that to the side for now and check on our scan oh our scan did something all right we have an open ssh one we have ldub open but we knew that from the description of the machine and we have oh wait what it's called localhost in the certificate okay so that's why it was oh the certificate is not valid because it's called localhost how did i miss the 8080 one what's on 8080 yeah maybe without the https what what's this a completely new website don't have an account make one all right don't mind if i do let's save it all right we can upload the file okay it's php what what does what, what happens to the file we don't have any files as of now so but we can change that we'll just create a file to see if i can upload a php i don't know if that's correct php i haven't coded php in like forever but we'll try okay it's looking for image files but maybe oh okay that's an error let's find an image a beautiful image of any suggestions let's look for hospital images and like get the free license ones and then we get this one and then we download this for free and we put it in the downloads folder because why not error still because i'm confused why 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 so let's go back and now we should get it in here all right so we get this one we upload it and then we see what's failed timeout okay maybe it was too big so let's try a smaller one okay so that was the problem all right so now what do we do can we check where the files have been uploaded or upload okay and uh, then let's try this all right pretty easy we found where the image is located now the only thing that we need to do is uh, not make it an image but instead a php file this goes to failed too wait am i trying with the failed one anyway okay no this was the one that was successful let's try with the one that was successful like this success okay so if i now go in here and search for the php one does it work nope it doesn't but if i say php pack, this one was found okay cool i should have a list of file inclusion attacks mm, maybe it's more like file upload attacks that i'm looking for so let's try this one oh. okay that doesn't look like the thing i want 
So let's try just a different one. We have the 20, now we have the 0A. Apparently that worked too. Okay, but did it do what I wanted? Not found on this server. But if I do this, this wasn't found on the server as well. Didn't I try that as the first thing? Now, instead of having all of this bullshit in here, we'll just try to have this one, rename it to this so JPEG. All right, and then we try to upload that one and see what happens. Mm, that's in my home, my data, hospital, test jpeg all right successful upload now we go in here and we try to find out upload and what was my file called test.php that doesn't work but maybe dot jpeg okay we cannot be displayed because it contains errors but we got some valuable information so far so first of all what's this post 6 doing anyway we got this upload one that makes it think it's an image so let's just go to this Send this to the repeater, send success. Okay, and now we try to find out how we can smuggle this file. Let's try the 001. All right, now, now I'm confused too. This one said success. How can I fail at the simplest thing? Okay, PHPS works out. Does it execute? Why don't I have permission to access this resource? Aha, nice. Uh, it has worked. All right, but I somehow can't access the resource still. That's uh, what's happening here. Can some of you help me? Let me know in a comment. Yeah, maybe I should start doing a reverse shell. There's also this reverse shell. Maybe that one's gonna be of some kind of help. Let's just copy this code and paste it into this file for now. And then we need to change our IP to be our IP, which is 10.10.10. This one and the port is gonna be port 2069 then we can just copy this in here the listener is nc minus lvnp 69 all right you're listening over here we copy you and we're gonna paste you in here and send it success nice okay now if i access this one nothing's gonna happen all right so maybe this is gonna be the one that helps us fail okay let me see which php version is used 8 okay so let's try php 8 no oh, phtml failed phtm oh we haven't tried php 3 then we have number 4 we're just trying all of them until one doesn't fail if only there was a faster method i hear you say all right you know what let's send this to the intruder i think it's called right yeah all right so now we just copy this go in here and paste it boop and then we just start the attack all right the jpeg.php it didn't work before lies it's telling me lies it says the png i see what i did we don't want a url encode these characters so start here let's find out if we were able to upload the php one nope but maybe the far one that's a little bit far-fetched i mean it, it kind of exists but it doesn't work so phpt nope i feel like i'm being too stupid or maybe like i'm thinking too far ahead let's try another part you see what you see you, see, you fucking see what's happening php code is executed all right boom zack we got this we copy paste this into here i don't know if that's the correct way to do it but boom boom zack wait 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 something happened all right this shell is sh shit okay let's go with a php shell we now know for a fact that this stuff gets executed just didn't work out what's my ip and let's try this one no and this one is 42069 now we copy this sadly no probably because of the shell all right we my voice is doing backflips right what's up this file doesn't exist anymore it does now right the one with the sh did actually more i mean can i execute shit with this what's a command for windows dear right and my nothing absolutely nothing this doesn't work but this one i mean i'm not sure but i guess it has to be a windows machine so we need to build a windows payload now the question is that does the whole shit over there work so we do a windows machine because i don't see it working anyway now this one does nothing the only one that kind of worked was this shell so let's copy this one and send it again now this worked you see and when i run this one it just says can't spawn shell i don't know why 
Maybe because of this, let me just try something. Not exactly what I was looking for. All right, Windows River. I mean, I'll try this one. It says it works on Windows and this one doesn't. So let's just try the one that says that it does work on Windows. Why am I doing such a complicated bullshit thing? I will just execute some PowerShell script inside of PHP. What the fuck am I doing? Like the easiest one is to system something. Tech. Boom, we copy the system part, paste it in here, and now instead of getting a CMD, we do this PowerShell stuff. I'll just run this one. That seems... Why wouldn't that work, right? That, that should work. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. Is it maybe done with exec? Nah. Shell exec? This should work. If it's... Nope, it doesn't. I am kind of lost right now. I can't believe it, but let's try the guided mode. What is the domain name? I mean, let's try the Weevilly web shell. This seems to be too much work. The pony shell? Maybe we can get that. Sounds nice. We'll get it raw. All right, great. That seems to be working out. Who am I? Pintar. Fantastic. Let's try this. Now, let's actually try the PowerShell reverse shell. Maybe that's going to work out. Here I am still listening. Here we have the hospital. Come on. Why? That didn't work. WW data. Who would have thought? Wait, when did what the fuck? That's a Linux server? I thought it was the Windows server. It had so many Windows stuff going on. Find the kernel exploit. Okay, I mean I guess yeah, we can do the kernel exploit. Alright, I might have to do it myself. I hate this. Oh okay. does this even work? Yeah. I mean I found a pretty easy payload, so I hope that it works. Get my cop pasting it. It doesn't. Okay. Just trying to find the privilege escalation. Wow. I don't want the solution. It's the one I tried. You know what? Maybe I need to do a reverse shell after all. No, no. My reverse shell work. Way. Okay. Maybe now, once I'm here, I can like do this stuff. Okay. And then I want a stable shell, which means opening up a Python. You are right with Python free. Nice. Nice. Okay. Guess it's Dr. Williams, right? Let's go into Dr. Williams' home. Not in go. I mean, there's no mail for Dr. Williams. What's the hint here? We have to hack the password. All right. We can try that. It's going to take a while since we have this hash. We're just going to copy this and then we're going to go to backspace. All right. Let's do a new file. Let's call it shadow. Let's put this in here and then we need to pass wd and here we create a new file called Yes, WD, it's in here, boom, boom, same here, okay, perfect, Stop a new bash tab, we're in the correct destination, we have on shadow installed, perfect, I use WD and shadow to create a shadow file for John, and then we do John on shadow John, now I know, don't know what's smarter here, what's in this one, how many passwords are in there, a thousand, okay, maybe, maybe we'll find something now, Let's check if we have the Rock UTXC working for us here. We have to unpack it first, of course. All right. Now the Rock UTXC should be ready for us to go. And now we wait. Oh, oh nice. Now, who is email? Email? Okay, you know what? That sounds like we've got something over here. Dr. Will. Let's disable burp for a minute. Dr. Will. All right, I like how here it says one, but the list is empty. Dr. Brown. We got an email by... Dr. Brown. What? Dr. Brown. What do you mean wrong answer? You won't need to like the copy email address. What kind of question? All right. I kind of like the guided mode for like getting back into it. To be honest, this one can automatically generate a, a, a ref shell. That's always nice. Oh, maybe that's a new file. Dr. Will. All right. Okay. Now we can continue as we please. Python. And there was, I think, an easy way to have a ref reverse shell. Yeah, here. Whoop. And we have to trigger reverse shell ETPS, which we are probably gonna send to Chris Brown. And that's what you get for hitting women. Now we wait. I mean, just in case it didn't work with the Windows. I don't know if it 
does work with windows there has to be a windows server no on unix okay. and let's just generate the payload ourselves and with ourselves, i mean of course rapture that doesn't seem like the way to go you have to say cmd or cmd exe we will see okay this one is still listening nothing happening on here all right let's reply to this one again this time we use the hackney eps and we wait all right you know what we're gonna do cmd call the file hack me too one of those three files will do the trick we will never know which one but uh, wait have i attached the stuff to it or is it uh, yeah it has an attachment hmm. does it have cat installed or do i need to put netcat on it hmm. all right you know what let's put netcat on it drives let's download this one boop, boop. okay let's go to boop. all right and then we can inject stuff in existing stuff okay so we're gonna copy this file apps to be the man eps okay looks like we have to do it then we have the inject hey look i hope it has curl too and we will download it as nc.exe so that we got it All right and then we do the same thing we did before we say inject i hope that it now has both so this hasn't still worked so let's go to this guy and let's reply to him with the hacker man one that we just created and now we wait nothing is happening though let's just wait like i'm not sure did i mess it up by sending so many wrong ones first i feel like this one should be the correct one should i reset it you know what let me reset it go in here whoop refresh what's up why are you unable to connect you're up right okay now we have our prepared file our stuff is listening still this one too and we attach the file which is the hackerman one here it's for 2070 all right it looks good i have attached it now let's send it and then shit should start happening absolutely nothing is happening over here and i don't know why am i doing something wrong or is it just broken maybe it doesn't like it when it's two so let's just do one and then the other i don't know at, at this point i'm just trying stuff let's generate one there we go it did okay 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 this was with the other one right so let's do this injecting stuff all right if you want it like that then let's get it like that i don't fucking care we're and oh, where could it be located usually it's a desktop i think we got it okay i mean we have dr brown right dr. brown maybe let's try to persist the access a little bit more let's exam and there's a ht docs folder what do we have in here you know what can't we just upload a river shell here i mean i can't upload this maybe this doesn't work but which one did we use for the pony shell right can we upload that one pony shell can i access this one mm, that's the wrong app and it's actually the correct one even what wait what the fuck is happening i'm confused as fuck how wait how is there two server wait how nice i'm a 40 system okay nice so the web server is running as root that's fantastic oh wow fantastic that worked out better than expected i was just trying to get like a foothold or like persisting the stuff but uh, i guess yeah that's all for today thank you very much for watching and see you the next time whenever that will be bye bye